this is very interesting. Mike Silver, very connected with uh, George Kittle, broke the story about George Kittle's extension, um, wrote a story saying that there's – you you tell the people what, what, what the story was about. I'm going to pull it up. Yeah, I mean, he was talk, just kind of talking about some dynamics between uh, George Kittle, Kyle Shanahan. Um, basically, Kyle Shanahan is very – he wants everything structured a certain way. It has to be done a certain way. Uh, Kittle kind of resists that. Uh, and there might be some slight push and pull between the two as a result. Um, you know, he made a comment of uh, regards to, I think it was Hutchinson's on the Vikings went off in a game uh, this weekend. And Kittle saw that, said he was going to go off. Um, it, it, talking about how he was blown away by how many touches Hutchinson got with 13 and said he's going to have to go off and, and match it. Uh, you know, they talked about how in practice Kittle jumped to catch a pass and Kyle criticized him, said he didn't need to jump. Uh, and how I guess it's just a lot of that dynamic between Kyle. Kyle wants things a certain way. Uh, and Kittle, you know, he's a vet. He's been around a long time. And uh, he's at the point where in his career where he's not going to just he's not a rookie. Right. He's going to do his own thing. And you saw like the route when he went and stole the touchdown from Ray Ray. That was Ray Ray's uh, pass that Brock Purdy threw. Kittle went and got it, and in practice, they were talking about how uh, Kyle told Kittle to, to go away from that so that, you know, Ray Ray would have been more wide open. They talked about that in practice, but when the game started, Kittle just did it anyways. Um, so a lot of interesting things, and we're going to see how this plays out. He mentioned something about uh, 49ers probably wanted to ask Kittle to take a pay reduction next year. Um, I don't know, but, but what I do know is – George Kittle is now we, – we talked about George Kittle struggling this season, but he's now tied for fifth in receiving touchdowns with eight. Uh, out of nowhere, really struggled, but last two games he has four in the last two games. So I don't know, man. This whole thing is kind of interesting. Just another little story, uh, side story uh, to follow along this season, something to look at. You mentioned that there's a thought that the Niners might want Kittle to take a pay cut next season. His cap number right now is $7.3 million. That's quite reasonable. Next year it's $18 million. 18 the year after that 19.8 the year after that 17.5 and so um Kittle's worth it if he plays like he played the last two weeks I mean it's him and Kelsey that can do stuff like this at tight end but he doesn't do this very much and I was saying like why how did he become an afterthought in the offense and wow what a conspiracy theory to think that Kyle could be intentionally not calling his number to sort of like intentionally suppress his statistics and then go to him in the offseason and say, hey, bud, your numbers are a little bit low. Could you take one for the team? Like, oh, so and so you're calling up plays in the red zone for Ray Ray so you don't have to pay, so you can take money away from Kittle. I'm not saying that's what's happening, but that was the insinuation. And so you yeah. got Kittle, like, freelancing on the field to get his touchdowns, uh -huh. and you got Purdy over here, uh, very smart. Feeding Kittle. Hey, Kittle, you want the yeah. ball? I got you, baby. I got you. Because I asked I asked Kittle earlier this year in Colorado, like, have you gone to Kyle and asked for the ball more? And he said, no, I've gone to Jimmy. And maybe Jimmy felt like he couldn't disobey. I don't understand. But Purdy is feeding him the ball, and it seems like it might be to the chagrin of Kyle. The, 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 little, uh, the little detail in this story that Kittle – caught a touchdown pass in practice and jumped and Kyle said he didn't need to to me speaks to Kyle doesn't like players who call attention to themselves because I don't know why and I think he saw what he said he, he morphed from a try hard fifth round pick to a media darling I think Kyle doesn't like that and maybe he feels like every once in a while he needs to take him down a peg and give him three targets I don't understand but it's not in the best interest of the team, and Kyle needs to knock that off. Because we yeah, see what Kittle can do when he's fully in, involved in the offense. It made no sense to me why he wasn't getting targets this year. I mean, we, you know, I was it was last that. year, too. It was in the freaking playoffs last yeah. year, man. They, they, it feels like they should have been calling his number last year. They should have been calling his number last year in the playoffs, is what I'm saying. It seems like such a waste of talent. You know, I was wondering, does he still have it? And obviously he does, man. He still has He's just as good as he was. He just needs – more opportunity, more targets. But I did think it was funny. He just needs to run the wrong route and just get the ball on his own. <laughs> oh, you're throwing to Ray Ray? No, I want it. So funny that he did that. It so was funny about it too. Afterwards in the press conference, he said, you know, Kyle's probably going to 
coached me up on this one. Oh, well, you know, I, I thought that was interesting too. I don't care. Cause at a certain you know, point yeah. you make more money than the coach you got four or five years. What is he going to say to you at a certain point? I think that's why coaches like Nick Saban don't want to be in the NFL. There's going to be eight or nine players on your team that you really can't say anything to. You're mm-hmm. at their mercy and you, you, they better like you right? pretty much. So if yeah. you want to be like a guy who's leaning on all your players, go coach college. And I think that would appeal to Kyle, except for the fact that I don't think he would spend one minute recruiting. One minute. So it'll never happen.